Hi, Mary with Three Viewers Diary, and I'm here with my one and only, because I'm only hopefully getting this one time, uh, Macy's Beauty Bag. This is a brand new launch. Uh, Macy's was going to come out with the beauty bag for a little while, and then they put it off, and so I finally, I had put myself on the waiting list, and they sent me an email and said, yay, guess what, we're ready, um, so, you know, set up your subscription. So this is the first bag um, for the Macy's Beauty um, bag. Now, there are a couple issues here. Well, number one, the bag's freaking beautiful, but it's $15 a month. It has the same, pretty much the same size sample as like your basic um, Sephora Play or Birchbox. Honestly, I have looked at the stuff in here, and if I were to pick, I would pick the Sephora Play subscription because that's $10. This is, to me, about $10 worth of samples. The only good thing is they give you the $5 back in a gift card that you can use for beauty at Macy's. But I don't always shop at Macy's, and a lot of the brands they have at Macy's are not cruelty free. And so that's why I think the $5 certificate is not gonna do me any good at all. So the reason that I canceled this is I did have way too many subscriptions, and I had made a possibly painful decision to cancel everything and go with the FabFitFun box. That is a quarterly box, and the editor's box I was able to get for $19.99. You can't beat that because it's like $340 something dollars worth of product. That is coming in another video. So I had to cancel pretty much everything. I think if I were to go back, I would not subscribe to this one because for $15 and a $5 certificate that I'm not going to use, it's just not worth it. But if you are a Macy shopper, you can use it online or in the store. You have to use on beauty products, but you could like feel okay about spending the 15. Unless it's just for the beautiful cosmetic bag, which is probably the highest value one I've ever gotten. Like it's just beautifully made and very heavy construction like I would definitely take this on a trip with me this is beautiful so without further ado we'll get into the products I do think that for $15 what I got is pretty much the same type of stuff I would have gotten if it was a Sephora play box okay so everything comes wrapped in neat little tissue it also comes with this leaflet thing and it doesn't really it talks about the products um, and gives you a $5 certificate uh, for $5 off on it it has to be like a beauty thing but it does give you like a little short narrative of what you're getting and what it's from yeah there are six things in here one of them is a cologne sample which is perfectly okay because it's the same thing that Sephora Play does. You get six things and one of them's a cologne. So um, anyway, the first thing that I'm pulling out is, um, wow, that was just so freaking loose. Good, it's sealed. I'm probably going to put this on the trade site because I don't use this product. Anyway, it does have a plastic um, seal, so this will maybe go into trade although I'm trying to stop the trade thing because it costs you a fortune if somebody wants something little it's like two dollars and seventy seven cents every time you send a box out for like little stuff so I've made it so it has to be three or more and now people just leave you hanging there like somebody was like oh yeah I definitely want that and they send you a request and you send a counter and then they, it sits there. Like I've been waiting for an answer from somebody for like two weeks. It's very frustrating. And I'm thinking it's probably not worth swapping anymore. I don't put that much stuff in swap anyway. So anyway, it is a purity face wash. And this is a travel size. I think it might be two ounces. Yeah, it's two fluid ounces. This is not cruelty free. So I might use it on my brushes. Um, I've heard people do that. 
you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe give it away. I don't know. I'll figure something out. But um, most of the stuff that I got here is not cruelty free. So, yeah, this is just totally not, not cruelty free. So, that's probably going to go. And that is um, from Philosophy. So, philosophy, shame on you. But I guess you're selling in China for years and years, and so you're not new to the game like NARS. NARS, shame on you. But anyway, um, purity is not cruelty-free, so I'll probably end up giving that away. There is something cruelty-free in here, and actually two um, other things are cruelty-free. Huh. And you know I love Smashbox. By the way, those of you who say Smashbox isn't cruelty-free, it is. They considered going to China. They never went to China. Um, so anyway, they decided to stay in the US, maybe from pressure from people like you and I. Um, this is two colors from one of their newer palettes. And they're really, really pretty. Really, really, really pretty. Not sure I'm keeping it, however. If you watch my eyeshadow declutter, you would see why I say that, although these are like colors I don't have. Yeah, these are like colors I, I don't have because one of them's, well, one of them's like a dark peach, the other one's a brick color brown. These are from one of Smashbox newer palettes, and I have one, two Smashbox palettes that don't have colors like this. Or one that's kind of close. So I'll compare it if it's, if I don't see these colors in my Smashbox palettes, because I'm trying to get away from little eyeshadows, which is almost impossible because I kept a lot. Um, but anyway, I am going to check this out and we'll see if I have colors that are just like this in a palette, then I'll just put this in trade or give it away. Now there is something here that I really like, and I don't really like the smell a lot, but it's from Tarte, and it's pretty heavy for a little bottle. It's a little tiny bottle of their Marula oil, and this, honestly, these little bottles, they last quite a while, so this I will joyfully use. This has like, um, this is like the kind of dropper you press the button and it sucks up the oil. Um, into the dropper and this is really nice especially those nights that my skin feels like super super dry like last night I couldn't get enough oil like I just rubbed oil all over my face like I my skin for some reason was really reacting to something so anyway that is a very nice sample to get I think it's half an ounce um, let's put my glasses on and we'll see <laughs> of course, got the pita bunny on the bottom. Yeah, actually, it's not. It's a quarter of an ounce, so it's 0 0.23 ounces. But it's oil, so it'll last a while because it's a drop at a time, and I like this. Okay, um, also from Benefit, they sent Gimme Brow. Now this is so tiny, it's like not worth trading because I'll get like two or three uses out of it and then it'll be like a empties finished thing. So I'll probably just give this a try. Um, I will just never buy it because it's not cruelty free. And there's another thing in here and this is from Mac. Mac ladies out there, they're not cruelty free. They were, but they sell in China. Um, if they ever leave China, then they'll be back to being cruelty free. So anyway, this is a MAC mascara and it's super, super, super tiny. I mean, there's probably like two uses of mascara in here. So anyway, it is the MAC false. Do, 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 do. You know what? I have put my glasses on. Yeah, MAC false lashes extreme black. So if I were someone who would buy MAC, which I won't, um, it would be great to try and then buy it if I liked it, but I'm not ever going to buy this. So, And the last thing is um, Good Girl Cologne by Carolyn Herrera. 
I have a problem with this and I've had it since I got this bag because I opened up the bag, I opened the tissue and I looked at this and it's half full. Like seriously, it's half full. Now, I don't know if it leaked out somewhere, but it certainly doesn't seem that the tissue got wet. Um, so I have a problem with that. If you're going to give me a little teeny tiny sample, at least make sure the bottle's full. Um, I have a problem with that big time. Now I don't know if this is cruelty free anyway. I have a million of these little um, cologne bottles, but now that this is half full, I can't give it away because I don't know where the rest of the other half went. So anyway, um, that's it. So these are the things that came in this bag. Let me just see if I can pick all five of them up. Six. I don't want to drop the Smashbox, so let's see if I can. I don't want to drop the Smashbox. Don't want to drop Smashbox because I love Smashbox. Okay, so anyway, these are the products that I got. One um, cologne sample that's half full and five um, other products. Now, most of it's not cruelty free. That's one consideration. Um, for those of you who are considering um, the bag and whether you want to stay cruelty free or not, or sometimes people are just like, oh, well, I'll just try it and I just will never buy it. So um, that's also something that you could consider. Also, it's $15 a month. This is the same stuff that I was getting in my Sephora play box which I kind of liked better because the samples were nice size samples and I kind of miss this floor Sephora play box now. Oh. So if you're thinking, okay, I can buy beauty stuff uh, $5 every time I get a, a, a bag. Great. Um, you could buy, you have to buy at Macy's. So you get $5 back. That makes this $10. However, if you're like me and you're not going to um, be buying your beauty products on Macy's website because a lot of it's not cruelty free, I guess I, I could, but I'm kind of on a no buy right now and now from now until the end of time. Anyway, so it's up to you. Like, do you want to spend $15 for the same stuff you could get for $10 with Sephora Play or do you want to spend the $15 and get a $5 off? thing that you can use at Macy's. Let me check the date on that. I do want to say that they billed my account um, on July 26th and I don't know if this is July or August. They don't really say. Let's see it just says Macy's Beauty Box, why we love it, why we love this stuff, why we gave it to you, blah blah. Um, Okay, well this is pretty good because the $5 off coupon is until the end of September. So if this is a July box and this is a very generous amount of time, they don't do, um, they're not very generous with the time on the points card that you get in the Sephora box. But this is a generous amount of time. Now if this was supposed to be the August bag, then this is still a generous amount of time because it's September 30th is the last day to use the $5 certificate. So anyway, um, I hope that this has helped you make a decision about whether you want to subscribe to this or not. I'm going to look for a link. Uh, I'll probably end up going to my subscription addiction to pull a link from her site to get you to the Macy site. So I'll see if I can put a link down below it won't benefit me in any way whatsoever so you know I'll supply the link so that if you're really like hot to try this subscription then you'll at least be able to find it. I have canceled it but they tell you that you have to cancel by the 10th of the month so I canceled and it was after the 10th of the month so I don't know if I'm going to get a September bag or not. I just let my husband know just be ready to look and see if there's a charge that comes through <laughs> so that's it um, and if I get another one I'll bring you an unboxing but honestly in my opinion it's not worth the extra five dollars to get pretty much the same stuff and some in some cases not quite as nice as these for a play box just my cons my comparison for play uh, is a 
much higher value and it's ten dollars that or ipsy either one of them ten dollars and really great stuff so anyway thank you very much for watching this has been mary with the macy's beauty bag hopefully the last one but i might end up getting another one so anyway hopefully this is the last one and that's it i hope you got something out of this and take care and have a beautiful evening if you're not subscribed please do subscribe thanks and have a beautiful evening good night